Welcome back again to Blaze Collectible Channel from Whittier, California. And today, of course, is Wednesday night. Show and tell time, of course, is June the 2nd, 2021. Here we have some goodies. We have a special guest. His name is Alvaro. Welcome back, Alvaro. Hello. Hi, everybody. He brought Thank out you. some goodies. And if you guys want to follow him on Instagram and Facebook, Bears 21 Diecast Customs. TikTok he has a, too. Same oh, same TikTok thing. too. And he's all over now. <laughs> I think I see him at the downtown LA uh, boards, you know, on the, on the streets. <laughs> and the billboards. Yeah, yeah, billboards everywhere. And of course, I see you guys. Anyhow, adults, kids, whoever's watching this video, uh, Alvaro's going to give us a, a little lesson about decals. Okay, these are decals, everyone. You see the cars? They have decals on them. Different decals, different decals with a bunch of uh, nice paint jobs. You see how they're all different? Well, this is how they look before they're applied onto a car, and they have different colors for different cars. And so, this, is, this is the sample here, so you can have the um, finished product. And this is how they look. Wow. These will be the sides, the roof, the hood, and the trunk, and the sides. This is for a '65 Impala, wow. and the way you do it. You cut with scissors, like always, safety first, and cut um, all around the uh, edge on this, on the design. Then put it in water, bring it out, and slide it onto the car, and tap it with the um, rag or something. To dry it out. To dry it out, and then use the blow dryer to, uh, dry with heat, off. dry it off, and, and that way you can uh, stick to the car. Because it has kind of glue in the back, so oh, okay. so with the um, blow dryer, you put it's like you're putting pressure into the as long as it's not wet, right? Yeah. You try to dry and it. And then up. again with the uh, rack, tap it again and make sure you have it in place, lined up. So what happens if it's not lined thing. up? How how much time do you have to to line it up again? Uh, like about two minutes. Before you use the blow dryer, you line it up. Oh, okay. And then okay. once you use the, the blow dryer, it's gonna be hard too. Oh, to wow. move it around so That's yeah cool. this is how then what do you do after that then after that you clear coat the car and what do you recommend for clear coat like uh, sprays or where do you go get it what i use i use real car clear coat or you can use a uh, house of color clear coat and um, spray i don't recommend it much because it's it it might damage the decal too oh wow so so I think it's better if you use a, a has a color uh, clear coat or a real car clear coat. Oh wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. How long does the whole process take to do one? Uh, after, let's just say after you finish painting your car and you're gonna do the decals. How long is that process? Like about an hour, two hours? About or? an hour, yeah, about an hour. And how long do you let the clear coat dry? Uh, a day. One day? A complete day, yeah. And where do you recommend to put the car in? Like in a microwave or a <laughs> no, box? No, like if you have a display like this, you can set it up there. And then, um, yeah. Also, the dust won't get in it, huh? Yeah, Some, oh, wow. something close. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, when you do your customs, you know, let's just say like this one here, example. Is that a decal or is that like a airbrushing? This is airbrushing underneath and then uh, the decal and then you put clear coat and then the, the other color, the black color, and then clear coat again. Wow. So it's like a four step process that you have to do to, to end up with this result here. What's the average time you spend on a Hot Wheel to customize it? This takes more time. This will take about two hours. Wow, I like those rims, those are big as huge real riders on the back. Look at that, those are big tires. Those are we call meat, meat tires <laughs> these are uh 3d printed oh wow yeah wheels yes oh wow yeah that's pretty cool got them from a friend so um yeah they're cool and we'll, this this is about an hour it takes less time you just have to apply the color first clear coat and then decal and then clear coat again well, that's a lot of decals in this car wow look at the rims too those are custom rims right those are uh, Oh, LOCDs. Okay. So. How much do those rims usually cost? Uh, fourteen per box. It has two sets. You can do two cars with the. So seven fifty each mm -hmm. set. 
And how about these? These are new, huh? These are new uh, Novas that Novas. came out? Novas, yeah, new Novas. Wow, look at these awesome paint jobs, guys. And that's like a decal, those are custom decals, right? Yes. Yenko. Wow. Yenko edition Novas. Look at this beautiful paint job on this. Look at those rims, everyone. Look at that. I like this on Raider colors. Yeehaw. <laughs> I still see you guys. I see you. All right. Well, look at this nice, beautiful work of art. This is a Dukes of Hazard car. You guys have seen that show, whoever grew up in the 80s. You guys know what that means, right? Yeehaw. Good old boys. All right, look at the 62 Chevy, AJ Silverado. Oh, I like this nice big rig right here. Look at that. Oh my God, that's awesome. And another 68, I think, 68 custom Chevy. 69? Oh, 67? Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 83 Silverado with nice wheels. And uh, Buick Rivera, Rowrider style. Look at that. Nice paint job on top. Another 67. Whoa. Cadillac. And a Cadillac. Look at that. Look at that beautiful work of art right there. And a 55 Gasser. Look at this. Wow. Is that a, looks like little skulls on the side, but they're flames, actually. And a Troca. Everybody likes La Troca. Wow. Pretty cool rims. Look at that. And 82 Chevy Silverado. Look at that sparkle on that paint. Awesome. Look at that. Whoa. This is called Hot Wheel Bling. Okay. And a 64 Impala. Look at this beautiful color. Awesome. And a Lincoln Continental. Wow. Beautiful color. 55 Chevy Gasser. Look at that. Wow. Another Woody Woody. Woodpecker. Wow, that's pretty nice too. Look at that. 67 Chevy. Uh, La Troca. And another 55 Chevy Gasser. 56 Flash Slider. 55 Chevy Gasser. Look at that. Those wheels stand out. There's good ear on them. And uh, this is a is this a Cyclone or the Gasser? A Nova? Uh, it's the Cyclone. Okay, Cyclone. 62 Chevy. Ooh, look at that color. Can you guys see that purple in there? Those flames. The ghost flames on it. That one too. 62 Chevy. Wow. Nice. 55 Gasser again. Golf Oil Company decals on it. Pretty cool. And that was the Chizum, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, the way it came. It was sold like in 1996 by Mattel with the set. Probably do some flames on it. Ooh, that's Thinking cool. about it. <laughs> and this is a nice Chevelle. 82 Chevy Silverado. Another 82 Chevy Silverado. La Troca. And Dobson 510. Look at this. We cannot leave imports out. Pretty cool color right there. Another a Lincoln Continental convertible with some nice white walls. Look at that. Another Dobson 510 Bluebird. 55 Gasser. 67 Chevy, 65 Chevy Impala, with awesome colors, three, it's green, white, and red, and this awesome 62 Chevy custom, awesome stuff guys, just before I end up the video guys, uh, some of these decals will be available right here at Players Collectibles, courtesy of Alvaro and Barris 21 Customs right here, check it out. Paris 21 uh, Diecast Customs on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. I don't know if he has YouTube. Do you have YouTube? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. And this is for our show that's coming up in June, well, this month. And it's going to be uh, the 9402 Oak Street, Bellflower, California, 90706 from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. But, you know, people that get there like at 6.30, so it's okay to get there early. And June 16, 2021. And then Cross Streets are Clark and Oak Street in the city of Bellflower. At the Women's Club of Bellflower. It's next to a park in the corner. So you guys should go if you live locally and nearby. And you guys have enough time. It's you know it's on a Wednesday night. So if you work during the day, you can show up at night. And if you have kids, you know, they don't go to school during those times and hours, stop by, say hello. And of course, he is going to take a bunch of customs. So if you guys um, are wondering how you could buy these, 
show up to that show and you can fi probably find a bunch of goodies there we also have him. we'll have some more decals for more cars and stuff and custom made wheels too oh wow we'll custom have made wheels, guys for sale. check it out you guys can't make it here go to uh the show and you you be able to meet alvaro you can get his autograph and maybe take a picture with him right <laughs> yes how much course. do you charge for autographs uh five bucks five bucks or okay maybe Man. water coke or something all right like just it. bring him a water do it for free <laughs> All right, everyone, yeah. thank you for checking in. And, you know, uh, I love to show everybody uh, stuff like this because how often do you see this, guys? I mean, you're talking to the actual guy that painted this and put his w sweat and time into this awesome custom that uh, mo most of us just look at videos and say, oh, that looks cool, but he does all the work. You know, he, he has to uh, sleep less at night. You know, for sure he works full time, has a family to support. But this is a side hobby for him, not a full-time job, you know, but he does enjoy it. So we, uh, us as collectors, we do appreciate this kind of work. You know, we have to support each other with buying stuff from each other or even giving each other information, free information on how to apply a decal, which most of you guys probably never heard of. Uh, but it's, it's good to learn. You know, just try it out. What's the most you're going to do is you're going to fail. But by failing, you learn more, okay? So try to do a, your own customs, guys. If you have, if you guys happen to go to the show, uh, we are having a lowrider contest, which means you could uh, do any Hot Wheel painted lowrider style, enter to see if you win. Uh, we don't vote on it. It's the customers that show up or collectors that are going to show up and vote on the on those cars. Look at that 965. Ooh, man, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Alvaro, for showing up today, for your goodies, to, for everybody to know about you and your, your customs. Thank you details. for introducing me to your customers, to your people and everything. And uh, yeah, if they want to enter the contest, there's your decals so you can hey, that's your true. little writer and yeah. maybe you can win. Well, you know, it's always a start, you know, when you do something. Uh, just concentrate on it, and if you fail, just keep doing it until you get better, right? Yeah, that's right. Because I'm pretty sure Alvaro, you know, failed a couple of times before he mm. got better. And I still do. <laughs> oh, my God. You see? There he is. He's, yeah. he's being honest, guys. Yeah. You don't have to be a professional. Just try it. You never know if you're going to do good. All right, everyone. Thank you for checking in, and adios.